What is going on, everybody? How you doing today? You feeling good? I hope so. I'm doing pretty good. And uh, today I'm going to be reacting to Dreamcatcher again. This will be my second song. The first one I reacted to was Scream, and that was my introduction to this band. And what I was trying to do was basically learn about K-pop. And I know the name Dreamcatcher has been floated around my channel a couple times. Apparently they might not be K-pop. Apparently there might be more to these girls. I don't know. I'm slowly starting to try and figure that out with reaction videos. Uh, if you have any information for me, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, I also started something. Thing that I didn't know I was going to be doing, but I, apparently I inadvertently started a trilogy reaction. Uh, so the first song was Scream. I listened to that, uh, and this one is called Boca, and I guess it's the second part of that song, so I figured it was only fitting to do this one next. Uh, I'm going to do that, and then I'm not sure what the third one is, but I'm going to be sure to do that just so we can wrap up this whole trilogy thing. Um, like I said, I wanted to start off just kind of learning about K-pop and everything, and apparently from what I'm understanding in the comments, I may have bitten off more than I thought I was getting into with this band. Apparently they mix all sorts of different styles together, infuse it together uh, almost effortlessly. I don't know. I don't know. That's what you guys are saying. Let's see. Uh, let's let's just see for ourselves. Let's uh, switch screens and get right on into it. Hey, but uh, if you guys are new around here, please consider liking and subscribing. I do this sort of thing all the time, and uh, I'd love to have you here for my, uh, my Dreamcatcher journey. All right, so without further ado, let's check it out. Dreamcatcher, Boca, is the official music video. Oh, also 42 million downloads, by the way. Or views, or whatever they're called. Yikes. I already like this one better than the last one. Uh, I like how the acapella, the acapella, while well, I'm making up words, the acapella kind of melody that they're doing, uh, it like fits beautifully into it. It's working. It's kind of like the leads with just like the stabs of the do 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 do. I think that's kind of neat. I like the drum sound that they're using. Uh, it's very breathy and airy. Uh, it's starting off almost kind of darker than the last one here. In fact, I think it started off with a like a thunderclap type sound. I'm gonna take this one back because I feel like we're about to break into something else here. Uh, but I do enjoy the flow of this melody. Let's uh let's let's continue. wants to come back. Okay, cool. So they're adding actual guitar to this now, too. Uh, I read that in the comments, too, saying that they also incorporate styles of, like, rock and even sometimes metal in their music. I found that very intriguing. Uh, I wasn't sure where it was going to come up or when I'd hear it, but I'm glad that I got a little bit of a little bit of distorted guitar or, or driven guitar. Um, I don't know what it is about uh, Dreamcatcher reactions and my dog getting excited about it, but whenever I'm recording a Dreamcatcher reaction, uh, which has only been the second one, uh, Beans has to be here. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I wasn't planning on bringing her back up here today because I didn't want to seem too distracted. You know, I want to just pay attention to the music. Uh, speaking of the music, I'm definitely enjoying the flow in this one a lot more. Uh, and it's not just because they're adding some double bass and some rock guitars and things that are a little bit more familiar to me. Uh, I enjoy the general flow of the song a little bit better. I like the darker undertones to it. Um, and there's even some sort of like light rapping going on here. Uh, let's take us back here a little bit because I want to hear that one more time. And some really cool dances too. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Yeah, 
Now they're adding the stain into it. Okay, yeah, I definitely like this one a lot better than Scream. Uh, and that's not to say that I, I, uh, I really dislike Scream. It's just that this one in particular to me, uh, I feel like there's just a lot more uh, creativity going on. They used a lot of really cool sound effects and a lot of sound design in the other one. Uh, but this one in particular, um, I just really liked the um, like, kind of like the ethnic style drum. It almost sounded like kind of like an Indian drum. Uh, in the beginning, the way that the, the drum, the rim of the drum itself, they used a lot of like those like little hits, the little rim shot hits. Uh, that was kind of cool. They really incorporated that into the melody as to opposed to using a lot of uh, hi-hat work, which you hear kind of in the style of music where they change the frequency uh, and add kind of like fun or bouncy or, or uh, whimsical <laughs> sounds. I'm sorry, Bean is getting upset with me again. She's saying, do not date, disrespect the Dreamcatcher girls. Um, I thought she was a K-pop fan. She's not a K-pop fan. I guess she's only a fan of Dreamcatcher. Uh, this is so funny that she decided to join me for this one. Uh, yeah, no, I really enjoyed this one. I thought this was pretty cool. I'm, I'm very interested to see where this trilogy goes because in this one, they actually introduced guitar. And they introduced it with a very distinct 808-style uh, drum beat, uh, which is interesting. Uh, because, you know, it's, it's very clean. There's no disdain. There's no reverb. There's nothing coming off of those drums. So it just sounds very punchy. Uh, and the only bass you're really hearing is kind of like that electronic drum sound. That's where you're really getting the bass from it. Uh, so I think it's, mo it's supposed to be kind of crunchy like that. Uh, really, really catchy melodies. And uh, some of their transitions, too. Uh, like, I think I mentioned, I think I may have even said in a past Dreamcatcher video. It may have been Dreamcatcher. Maybe it was... Uh, Black Pink, I'm not sure, but I, I think I said that like I already guessed the formula and I already knew where the, what, where the song was going. And obviously I got a ton of flack from that in the comments. <laughs> Stop it, Beans. Uh, but uh, it was, you know, it was a basic four over four thing, and it seemed to have some sort of like format to it. Whereas this here, I didn't really under, I didn't really know 100% of where the melodies were going. You were being so lovey. You were ruining this reaction, but I don't even care because I love you so much. Hmm. Let's just have a moment. I'm not re-recording it. Nope. Sorry. Uh, she's demanding my attention. But yeah, no, really, really cool. I want to see where the next reaction is going to go. Um, I want to see where the next, the, the trilogy is going to go. I'm not sure what the, the last one is. I think it's in the comments somewhere. I'll have to go back through and read them. But what I really want to see is I really want to see uh, Dreamcatcher live. I want to see how they perform some of these things. I want to see if they actually use uh, organic, you know, musicians where they will have real guitar and, and bass and an actual kit on stage uh, mixed with the electronic thing. I'm assuming they can probably pull it off uh, just because they seem so big and they seem to have such a crazy fan base. I'm assuming it's not all backing tracks, but I, I really am curious to see some of their live work. I think the next one I have to do is going to be the one that's going to tie this whole trilogy together. And uh, at that point, I'm probably going to do more emphasis on what the song is about and why it's a trilogy and all that stuff. So be on the lookout for that video. Uh, but if you enjoyed your time with me and Beans tonight, please consider liking and subscribing. We do this sort of thing all the time. Also, I got some links down below. Uh, Beans loves it. My Twitch, we do live reactions every Wednesday and then periodically else throughout the week. Uh, then what else do we do? We have a Discord. We got a Discord down there with all sorts of cool people. And uh, if you want to join that and continue the conversation offline, please do. But until next time, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.